Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I've quickly built up the basic on-off motor circuit again uh, as an example of things that can go wrong when you build a circuit. I'm often asked to try to troubleshoot someone's problem through the comments and it's very difficult to do something like that without visually seeing the circuit in front of you. But I would suggest split try to split the problem in half uh, if you have a circuit that can operate independently of the microcontroller of the Arduino board get that working first and um, then concentrate on your on your sketch and if the sketch verifies you don't have any syntax errors then there's a good chance that when you bring the two together your circuit will be working now this circuit here just responds to an on off switch that's being monitored by pin 2 and when it reads pin 2 it does a, a digital read it's then it's then going to do a digital write uh, from pin uh, 9 here to the gate of the MOSFET and turn it on. You can see there's a problem here that I've introduced on purpose to show you uh, to try to troubleshoot. There's a, there's a bunch of different problems here. Let's see if I can get this to turn off. That's not turning off. But you can see here I get this LED. I've added this LED to the gate of the MOSFET. Um, as another example, I've got a switch here. I'll just turn this off. Uh, if, if you can substitute the circuit for a sort of a, as a troubleshooting uh, mechanism, uh, that can help too. So I've got, if, if you're having trouble turning on this MOSFET circuit, I've just incorporated this LED through a 220 ohm resistor to limit the current on pin 9. So when pin 9 goes high in response to the detection of this switch uh, applying 5 volts to pin 2, it'll light up. And that's the same bias that you apply to the gate, which if your MOSFET circuit is wired correctly uh, should turn on the motor so you, you know before you get the MOSFET circuit you could just if your MOSFET circuit isn't working uh, but you're still able to light this LED that tells you that there's something wrong with the wiring in this this circuit here now let me let me show you again some of the problems going on here so this is supposed to turn on when this button is pressed so the LED's on, so pin 2 has gone high, and now it's turned off. So it seems to be doing things on its own. And one of the problems is that I don't have the grounds tied together from the MOSFET circuit to the Arduino board ground. So that's one of the issues here. So let me connect that ground up. Oh, and I've got, let's turn the switch back on. But now there seems to be another problem here, and that's that when this switch is uh, released, this should go off immediately. But it's not. But I can make it go off by just touching pin 2. So pin 2 is the input. And the problem here is that pin 2 is floating. When this button is pressed, the 5 volts has access to the other side here and gets applied to pin 2. But it's supposed to immediately, when, when the button is released, there shouldn't be 5 volts on this side. And there isn't. What hap what's happening is this pin here is just floating in air and whatever the circuitry is inside here it needs to be 
it needs a, a way to go to ground. Uh, uh, it needs a path to ground. So you use, uh, I didn't have this 10K resistor, which you have on, on the other side of the switch here to ground. And just put that right there. And now I no longer have that that issue and when I press the button it turns on and when I release it it Im immediately turns off so now it's working correctly so if you're having a problem try to try to break it up into pieces um, you know for this MOSFET here if you've got a problem and you can just take this MOSFET and go ahead and apply 5 volts to it. I know that that circuit is now working. So I, now I can concentrate either on the sketch or, or the wiring on this side of the circuit. And last, um, I've had comments, people say, well, why don't you just use a 5 volts on the switch? What is the point having this Arduino in this demonstration? Well, this is the beginning of understanding the concept of having a microcontroller with some programming controlling the hardware or the electronics. I mean, sure, you can do this with just a switch and remove this. But now that we're using a programming element or a microcontroller, I can go into the sketch and add one function, add the delay function, just say delay 1000, just one line of code. and upload that and now when I press the button there's a little bit of a delay and that was just with one line of code and I can also now go ahead and change that and increase that delay just by changing that 1,000 to 10,000. So I just wanted to show you that this is just the first step on understanding the concept of having a microcontroller controlling uh, circuitry and also trying to figure out what's wrong with your circuit. Don't look at it as one big picture all at one time. Try to break it into pieces and like I said, you can use like a little, if, if you're trying to see why uh, an output is not reacting uh, to your input the way it's supposed to be, use little things like diodes to see if you're getting the output, you know, if you don't have access to a scope or even a meter, uh, to, to get a handle on what might be the issues and break it up. You know, you have this circuit here, if you know that this is working, and then you know that this side is working, the microcontroller side, then there's a good possibility when you bring the two pieces together, everything will be working. So I just thought I'd make this video real quick and hope that uh, this helps anyone who's having problems with their circuit. Uh, don't give up and tr try to break it into pieces and, and solve it that way. So I hope, you, I hope you found this video interesting. Uh, feel free to like, subscribe, and or comment. And thanks for watching.